which actually leads me to my probably my second favorite tool idea inside of Snagit. And that is this idea of themes. We just talked about staying on brand and using colors that are appropriate for whatever the client needs or whatever your needs are. And you can change the colorways that are available by using the dropdown and selecting different themes. Now, if you've got your eyes open pretty wide, you'll actually see I've got a couple of color choices here that are based on Camtasia, Snagit, Nomia, Audi, lots of other TechSmith products. So if I wanted a Snagit colorway, I could click on my Snagit theme. And now all of a sudden, the colors that are here available to me are based on Snagit colors. Well, how did I get those in there? I used Snagit to create a theme. And we have that capability as long as you have the colors available to you or the hex codes or the RGB codes. But if I haven't mentioned this before, I'm not a designer. I don't know these codes off the top of my head. In fact, I hate looking for these codes when I have to find them. So we made it really easy for you to create a theme, even if you don't have those color codes available to you. And here's how you do it. Underneath the drop-down menu of themes, there is an option at the bottom that says new theme. And when you click on that, you're brought to a new theme menu. This is where you can create a brand new theme. And matter of fact, I'm going to create one based on this generic style guide I have sitting over here. Uh, we're going to create one for this company called Store It. So I'm going to name it Store It. And then I need to choose up to eight unique colors that are associated with that brand. And I can click on the colorway and I can kind of guess where that purple is maybe, or if I happen to have the hex codes or RGB codes, that's great. But like I said, I need this to be quick and easy. So we've included this. This is a color picker, this eyedropper tool. All you need to do is click on it and hover over the color that you want to be part of that theme and you click on it. And just with a couple of quick clicks, I can grab all the colors in this colorway including the secondary colors, because we do support up to uh, eight colors for a theme. Grab all five of them. So these five right here, I have available to me uh, right away. I can even define a theme font. So if my font is uh, this quicksand bold, I could go through my list of fonts that are on my system and, and go and find uh, quicksand bold and add that to my list. And I think that is a Mac specific one. So I'm gonna grab one that I think is fun, which is this Oswald Medium. And then when I'm ready, it shows over here on the right uh, what, what a preview of some of the callouts might look for. And if I know right away that I'm team shadow or no shadow, I can toggle on or off the shadow button right now when I create my theme. And since I'm team no shadow, no shadows for me, thank you very much. I click create. And now from my drop-down menu, I have a store IT theme so that when I want to go back to any of those images we're working on and I want a on-brand for store it theme color uh, call out, just like that, I've got my purple, I've got my secondary purple, I've got the grays and whites and so on and so forth, just like that. And they don't have to live just on my computer. Once you create a theme, you can actually use the gear icon to the right of its name and export that file out as a snag theme file. So anyone that has Snagit installed on your, on, on your team that has a version of Snagit that supports themes, they can import that into Snagit and all of a sudden everyone has the same theme. So you're working from the same colorway at the same, not the same time, you can use them whenever you want, but then there's a good chance that your company and your group will remain on brand with those colors. Uh, we do this, Ryan, on our team all the time, right? We want to make sure that my Camtasia green is the same as your Camtasia green is the same as your Snagit blue. We want to make sure they're exactly right so that there's consistency in the branding and the messaging. And what's great about themes is they carry across multiple tools. So right now we're in that call out tool and the theme stays there. Well, if I want to go to the arrow tool, I have that same theme available to me. So right off the bat, I have consistency in how I'm presenting my images.